to believe weather warfare is going on over your head every single day, stand by. As I said before, you'll believe it soon enough. In regard to the ongoing climate engineering assaults, the question of why, of course, and understandably perplexes those that have not yet taken the time to investigate. Why is our climate being engineered? Though the answers are many and complex, the condensed version is this, for power and control. It's always about power and control. Investigate the U.S. document titled Owning the Weather. The full PDF is available online. Investigate the congressional documents, the presidential documents, the patents, the history of weather warfare and weather modification. It's all there for anybody who chooses to look. If you do so, you'll understand more. Then consider that after 70 years of weather warfare, tearing the climate system apart, and along with many other forms of anthropogenic damage to the biosphere, which many don't want to admit to, all of them impacting the climate system, much of the current geoengineering assault on our planet is for the purpose of masking the true damage already done to the climate system while at the same time inflicting even more overall damage to the process. Again, this is the pharmaceutical mentality for planet Earth. How many examples do we have to see from the human race? This is, this is the mentality of our modern industrial society to very destructively try to treat symptoms while making the core of the problem far worse overall. This is the society we live in. Rosalind Peterson is an environmental impact analyst and founder of California Skywatch. Today, Rosalind is a leader in the fight to expose the true nature of the chemicals being sprayed in our skies. She has compiled extensive data documenting the ongoing geoengineering and weather modification programs contaminating our skies, water, and food supply. My name is Rosalind Peterson and I was born and raised in Mendocino County in California. I was on a working farm in Mendocino County and uh, grew up on a working farm. So I have a background in agriculture. I could drive a cat tractor. I could do the irrigation systems. I decided to take environmental studies and planning course at Sonoma State University where I got my degrees. After some training, I became an agriculture crop loss adjuster, which meant that if there were any crops that failed in California for any reason, crop loss adjusters were sent by the state of California to go investigate where these crop losses were and why there were crop losses throughout the state. So I was traveling about 50,000 miles a year in this process from county to county, assessing what kind of crops, uh, what kind of damage they had, and looking into the reasons for the failure itself and how much value the crop was that, that was lost at that particular time. And then if there was a crop loss that was legitimate, then ranchers or farmers could be paid crop insurance uh, for the loss of their crops. In 98, I began to notice just a little bit of tree decline on the property here. I began to notice that some trees didn't look as healthy and I, and I started to worry about that just in the background is something that was nagging because I was concerned about losing the beautiful trees we have around here. Then in early 2000, I began to notice that I would see jets and they would leave these little tiny trails and then the sky would white out after that. And I was always irritated because our skies used to be so crystal clear and blue and gorgeous. And all of a sudden, you would see these jets, and I kind of thought of them almost as joyriding, and when they were, or skywriting, and when they did this, then the sky would haze over. And so I found myself, when I was teaching tennis and being outdoors all the time, or uh, traveling uh, for work, that I was irritated a little bit about the idea that the skies were hazed over a lot. So that was the first inkling. And then in 2002, um, I was working for the Mendocino County Probation Department. I was on a lunch break and a friend of mine stopped me and dragged me into his office and said, what do you know about this? And I said, nothing. And so he said, well, he said, look, he said, I want you to know that, that something is strange is happening here and I'm really concerned about it. My brother, um, who's in the military, is concerned about this and has called me a couple of times to say he was concerned that there was something here that was going on that was not